Hello guys, Night Spectre here, bringing you another League of Legends cast. I'm wide awake, but my foot is sleeping, but help. Doesn't mean I can't do a cast now, can I? Let's go over the teams while boots are being bought, of course. On blue team, we have Gangplank, who I do not even know what he's going to do. He might go top, he might go support, because as you can see, the only one else that might have been able to support is Warwick, but he's going to jungle. So yeah, I think Gangplank will be the support. Support Plank, well, it works if you have enough gold per 5. You'll still be a beast in the end game. Don't know if you are allowed to farm with Parley, but you are at least able to harass with Parley, so you should be alright. Evelyn in the middle. Since the playoffs for the World Championships, everyone knows that he's good. Well, at least Alex Ich managed to do great with her, so why not anyone else? Well, there are reasons, of course, but hey. Let's go to Warwick, who will be jungling. You do not tend to see a lot of jungle Warwicks just because they are rather slow, but I think they are good in counter jungling just because they have such a good sustain that they can just waltz in, eat a big rave, and then walk away. Corky will be bottom lane, and, well, Evelyn was just hit by a sonic wave, so they know where she is. And then last, but by no means least, it's Rumble. Actually, you need to go to Corky because someone has been spotted. It was Lee Sin, the first player of blue team, who will be top. We have Morgana, who will be in the middle. No one is, has been attacked just yet, so we're fine. We have Jenna, who will be supporting Graves, and then a jungle shaker, who will be starting with blue. How did I know? Well, how couldn't you know? So yeah, the Jip almost killing everyone in an instant, so that's pretty good Jip placement there. Does he have a little bit of ability power to improve the Jip? Not really, so... Nice powers those chips have. Just look at them go. Jenna giving a shield to Sheko so when the minions are dead that he won't take any damage to be honest. So he will have a pretty good early gank. I, well, Sheko always have a very good early gank. He has his deceive ready. Yes, he does. So we shall see who he's going to gank. Let's follow him. Sheko going to the middle? Or is he going to counter jungle? He wants to counter jungle, but guess what? Warwick was smart enough, started with red, so there's no red for you. So he's now going straight for Evelyn from behind. Actually, if he just jumps over here, he might be able to get it, but it might be in range of the turret. So here he comes. Evelyn has no ID. Shaco placing a jib. Evelyn will get feared, but she gets feared right into the binding, but it won't be enough using her health pot. Just to have some extra sustain. Shaco now going back in, deceiving once again pretty far off. But Evelyn actually saw it because Warwick was in range. So now Warwick with the red buff is going to stick on to Shaco for infinity. But there is a jib. So Warwick's get feared and ignited. He will die, giving red buff to Morgana. Morgana, of course, now slowing Evelyn. Shaco going in, but it won't work. So first blood given to a Morgana. Not really the best idea, but hey. People can change. So, Lee Sin might have troubles here actually against the Rumble because as you can see that flamethrower is so nasty. Lee Sin actually level 3 before Rumble is, but I think Rumble is just better at farming than Lee Sin. Actually, I'm mistaken. Rumble 6 kills, Lee Sin actually able to zone away Rumble, weirdly enough. Maybe he's afraid of Shaco, and he should be. Once Shaco has a rat, he will be an unstoppable force throughout the laning phase. He is such a disruptive jungler, one of the best ganks in game. I think no one can match his ganks, to be honest. Of course, he maybe lacks a big CC move like Maokai, but hey, the slow of his po double poison sift is actually pretty good. So Evelyn now a little bit behind onto Morgana. Morgana, of course, a champion that can just push lanes with putting soil down. Evel oh, now he dies. Now he dies. Let's go and check it out. Actually, that's pretty low of both of them. Rumble placing down the Ignite, but now that he is overheated, he can't use any abilities. He is able to use the Scrap Shield, but he gets ignited himself. Lee Sin going and flashing away. That was necessary, or else the turret might have gotten him, and that's Rumble falling down. Warwick now going in for the kill. He has blue buff, so luckily for him, he didn't take it when he went to gank for the Shaco and Morgana. But he doesn't yet have the Hunter's Call, so he can't really sense the Lee Sin. He is able to kill him, though. No. Thank god his hungering strike was level 2, so Lee Sin dying, he could have gotten the kill. Shaco now ganking the bottom lane, Corky runs away, will he succeed? Flash away from the Graves Ignite, it won't be enough, of course the health pot will do its work, minions taking a lot of, uh, doing a lot of damage onto Graves, but the shield of Janna negates it 
plentifully. And now Shaco going to counter jungle. Actually, might go in for Corky, but Corky was long gone. He's not stupid. Morgana still pushing the lane. So once she's level 6, I think she'll either go for Evelyn or she'll go to gank the lanes, which I think would be better. Together with a Shaco and a Morgana ganking you, it's dangerous. Though she might actually dive Evelyn. She is fairly low on health. Evelyn's pushed to her tower, so she can't really go away. Shaco going for a gank onto Gangplank. It won't work. Shaco dying. Gangplank flashing after him. Graves dying to Corky, but getting the kill onto Gangplank as well. That jip will most likely protect Janna. Corky trying to chase her, but she is a Janna with a red buff, so don't even bother. If Zephyr doesn't slow you enough, if the knock up doesn't make you want to stop, the red buff will. Rumble back in lane. Lee Sin doing great actually, normally I tend to see a lot of Lee Sin's not doing well, but hey at this elo you might as well just give it a shot. While we're going in from behind of course he isn't level 6 yet so he's not really that big of a threat, is going to do a fair amount of damage onto Morgana though, look at those auto attacks go, he is now grabbed and there's a Shaco, he will be able to get out of range of the fear, Evelyn needs to be careful though, if she gets feared I don't think Morgana needs that much XP to hit level 6, she doesn't, only one more minion and she will hit level 6, well 2 probably, Shaco now going in, Eve, uh, Evelyn running away, she has the speed boost that she can give herself so she will be fine, now Morgana was level 6 a little bit earlier on and I think Evelyn would have died, no she has flash so she should have been fine and she should be fine for all infinity, or eternity, it's probably the same thing. Corky doing a lot of damage onto Graves now that he realizes Janna is not near Graves taking a pounding through the parlay. Yar. Shaco going in from behind onto the Rumble, but he should be spotted by the tower. Rumble, well, he's gonna get caught. If he flashes correctly, he doesn't. Gets feared. Lee Sin straight behind him. Not level 6 yet, but the Ignite will do the job. Shaco's Ignite, that is. Lee Sin's Ignite is still on cooldown. So yeah, as you can see, Shekos are such disruptive early on in the game. Their ganking is so sublime. That's why they mostly get banned in lower elo. In high elo, you don't tend to see them get banned that much. But you don't tend to see them get played all that much, even though I'm actually lying. I tend to see a lot of games of Sheko. I just don't tend to cast them. Warwick still in the middle, holding out f until Evelyn returns. She's back. She's also level 6, so now Evelyn might be able to get the awesome ganks done that an Evelyn is very good at. She can turn invisible, you see. Well, for a limited range, but still, it's something. Corky zoning away the graves together with Gangplank, who is the master of zoning. You get close, you get shot. That shield was a little bit too late, a pity indeed, but Gangplank needs to be very careful. There's a Shaco going in from behind, and that will be the kill. Buckshot to the face. So a little bit cheeky of Gangplank, he shouldn't have done it like that, knowing that there's Shaco all over the map. He has boots of mobility, so he is very quick in getting those ganks done. Is starting with blue, I hope Morgana gets it, the pings are going down for her, so Morgana... Feel free to run. Warwick spotted, he is level 6, so now he is truly a threat of the ages. Though he is spotted by the sword, so they won't get too close. Corky can just be aggressive, I think. I don't think Graves is going to be aggressive onto him. Pings are now going down to this ward, where Warwick is standing as well, so nothing they can do. Lee Sin actually fairly low, dodges the taser though, or might I say his minion saved his life. Equalizer is on cooldown? Yes it is, so Rumble doesn't have the Equalizer yet, so that might explain how he got Lee Sin so low. Evelyn now going in, pings are going down that she is gone, but she will be able to hit the ultimate, flash away by Lee Sin, but ignite, and of course all that pain spikes will do more than enough. Oh, with our hate spikes, sorry. Morgana now catching Gangplank, who uses his origins too early, and won't be able to escape. Shaco actually failing his deceive? No, no, he didn't. He didn't even bother deceiving. Maybe they... Well, now they know Warwick is there, but that won't work. So once Shaco has his hallucination, which he has, he can do Dragon extremely quickly. Especially if he has the Wriggles Lantern. He doesn't, but his team is there to help. So he won't take damage, his clone will, and the Dragon will most likely be dead. Pop it, you clone! Drop it, hit it, pop it, boom! Now Shaco is taking damage, but he will get shielded. So, Smite, first Dragon of the game, 9 minutes, 25 seconds. That's where Shekos are the best in. Next dragon will be up at the 15 minute mark in 30 seconds. So it would be awesome. That's the same time when Baron is about to spawn. Well, at 15 minutes, so Baron will be there for 30 seconds. 
they won't take Baron that early in the game yet, unless one of the teams is so far ahead. For now, it's red team with 3k gold. Environ. Corky missing the Ed Graves there. He was able to just dash away like a Graves does. Quick draw. It's a very good ability, actually. It gives you attack speed. What more do you want as an AD carry? Well, missiles. That's a thing. Armor penetration. That's a thing. Isn't that right, Corky? True damage? It's a thing, right? Yeah, <laughs> probably. So, Warwick trying to gank wherever he pleases, but there hasn't yet. Yeah, now is the time for him to gank. He used his safeguard, so that should be a free ultimate on his face. A lot of damage by Rumble because he's overheated. Every auto attack does a lot of damage once he's overheated. A nice equalizer is immediately in the direction where Lee Sin would safeguard, but there's a Shekko. Lee Sin could go in, but he might not have enough energy or be too scared. Warwick has a red buff, so he is able to slow him if he gets too close. Gangplank still farming. Trying to take the creep that Warwick isn't able to take and else, well, Morgana would have taken it anyway. Crocsog Blade, getting a kill on a minion, so it's it's a nice passive as well. Everyone has good abilities in this game. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely, Evelyn? You should go and buy. Only a Kage's lucky pick, really? Come on, girl. Get yourself a death fire Grasp immediately. Oh, Shekko pinging onto the blue. It's not there yet. They thought it was because Warwick moved in that direction, but there's nothing there, so that will be a minion loss. Unless he has the perfect timing on it, then I don't mind. Pings are now going down onto Wolves, which is actually a very good prediction here, because he is there. Warwick is there, Gangplank is there as well, but he's not level 6 yet. Evelyn is there, she might be able to save Warwick. Warwick able to flash away, Shekko actually going after him. This could be dangerous. They know where Shekko is. Rumble isn't in range, but Evelyn might be a nice binding there by Morgana. Evelyn will not be able to catch up to Shekko. Shekko will be able to escape because he already has his Boots of Mobility active. If you're 5 seconds out of combat, yes, then you get a movement speed of 5. No one on the bottom lane, so Jenna is feeling rather lonely. Corky taking red? Nope. Just farming away like Gangplank. All I get is Wraiths. All I get is Wraiths. And this guy is Graves. Sorry, I didn't know what rhymes with Graves. That's a big one. And Graves realizing Gangplank isn't there knows it's a 1v2. So he's going in. Corky missing there. That's a pity. Oh, that's a nice Seafir. Probably a bug, but I don't mind. Warwick now going in Ignite, going down onto Lee Sin. Does he have Flash? It's still on cooldown, so he will not be able to escape the Equalizer. That will be a kill, so nice gank there by Warwick. As said before, Warwick's ganks at level 6 are phenomenon. Phenomenal, not a phenomenon. Well, they are a phenomenon. Gangplank now level 6 is going to parlay Jenna, but now she's shielded at the perfect time. The Cruxoak Blade will not be enough to get the shield down even, so good shields. Morgana now going in for a gang. Corky should be able to Valkyrie away. It should be on off cooldown. Will be able to just wee and Gangplank should be able to eat oranges. Nope, it's on cooldown. Now he's able to eat oranges, but he will die to the collateral damage. Corky now trying to go in. Gets exhausted. Actually gets saved by Jenna, but I think the binding should be able to hit. Yes, it will. So a good gang there by Morgana. Giving two kills for her team. Taking one for her own, of course. Evelyn sh is set to walk away from a tower by her team. Well, she's right. There's a Shaco going at an amazing speed. Shouldn't be able to kill her though. Well, she took a turret shot, so it might actually work. She has a lot of movement speed. Will not get feared by the Jack in the Box. So, we're almost 15 minutes into the game. So, in about a 2 minutes, the dragon will respawn. Who will take it? For now, it does look like Shaco is going to have it. He has a Solutionate off cooldown. Smite is still on cooldown, but it will be off cooldown once the dragon spawns, so he will be ready. Will Warwick be ready? Yes, he is. He hasn't used smite yet, so he will be ready. Unless he's going to smite uh, the rave. He's not, so he's probably ready. Nice little wriggles prog there, so there's no need. Lee going to take some raves as well whilst he wait for Baron. Rumble should actually be going down as well, or else there will be no way for blue team to take this dragon. Or he should push. One of the two. He's going to recall. I hope he'll be there in time. Uh, don't think so. Only 10 seconds left. Oh no, one minute left. Yeah, he should make it. Sorry. 
Shaco going for a gank on the bottom will tag the gangplank, but he will take amazing damage there. The ghost getting popped immediately while well, the hallucinate and now Graves in a heap of trouble. Gangplank has red buff. You cannot escape a red buff gangplank, but he needs to assist his Corky right away. I know he wants to give the kill to him, but that could have been dangerous. If Janna used her ultimate correctly, it might have been real bad. Or it's on cooldown. Yes, it is. So never mind what I said. She has oracles. Isn't that nice? So, that will be actually really good for blue team. Baron should spawn in 25 seconds. Shaco will be back by then, but he doesn't have his ultimate, so he won't be able to do Baron uh, Dragon as fast as we've seen before. Avalon will take blue, after that they should go straight for Dragon. Rumble doing a lot of damage on Tulisin. Does he have? Yes, he has the Hextech Revolver, so he is able to sustain just as well as Elisin can. Or maybe even better. Dragon has spawned. But they are going for a gank on Tulisin instead. Sheko is actually going for a gank as well, so it will all work out. Dragon is for next time. This might go really bad for Red Team. There's the um, Warwick. Uh, Fear was way too late. The ultimate has already been dealt with. Leeson not kicking Rumble onto the other place. Well, he can't really decide. It's just a little bit of timing. Sheko now, of course, deceives through here. Warwick thinks, no, he went through here. You will not be able to catch Sheko. His boots of mobility has already been activated. And Morgana was there in the fray to help him out. Gangplank parlay on the face! And too late with the shield there. You cannot slow Gangplank, for Gangplank is immortal. With a red buff, I don't really mind. He's going crit plank, which is really awesome for support Gangplank, because all he needs to do is parlay. First tower in the game, really? Red team taking the first tower in the game. And they're probably going to move straight to the bottom lane, because they have been pushing rather hard. If bottom lane runs away, they might juke it out for a dragon, so we shall see. Morgana actually going to recall a nice decision, but you can't see Evelyn. So if it was another mid player, it would have been really good to stand here because I think they would have st stood there to check out Dragon, to ward over this wall, and then they would have died. Shaco still not going for Dragon. I've been here talking about Dragon for four minutes, and what do they do? They laugh in my face. Oh, we're not gonna do Dragon. It's not worth it. Well, I don't mind. All right, be that way, Shaco. Janna knows that she cleared the ward, so she knows there's no one there. Jip being placed down there, so I think if Evelyn passes, the Jip will activate. I don't know that, but Cheko is now in real bad position there. Is going to use his clone to try and distract him, but now the clone is giving vision to the entirety of the team to Warwick. Let's see, check it out. Oh, actually no, they don't have vision on the brush, but they do know where Grace is now. So they know, they're all standing here. Doesn't Gangplank? No, he doesn't have wards. I realized that eons ago. Dark Binding misses. Morgana not hitting anyone while well, they're walking over the soil, so at least that's a little bit of spell vamp she gets. Though she's full health, so I don't think she'll realize. Lee Sin now going to help with Dragon. Either, as I said before, Rumble needs to push down the tower or needs to help his friends. Or else it might go haywire. Corky going to push the tower needs to be careful for a Dark Binding. It's very hard to Dark. To dodge a dog binding you can't see. Shaco is going to push the lane instead. So they need to go now or they need to stop. Shaco. Lisin not going to help with Dragon. Rumble is pushing too hard. Well the turret would have been destroyed if he wasn't there. So it might be a wise decision. Shaco again deceiving away. Again juking it out like a pro. And they aren't able to catch up to him. How can you catch a Shaco? Actually, a nice dive there by Corky, but as I said before, Morgana is there. Gangplank trying to flash in, trying to get the kill, but it won't work. Buckshot together with the ultimate of Morgana, getting the two once again. It was a very ballsy dive, I might say. I said earlier that Morgana was there, and they still didn't have vision onto her, so why go in? They're still going in. The fear of the jet will interrupt Warwick's ultimate. They do have Morgana. Will they have Shaco? Shaco running away. Janna should be able to save him with one more whirlwind. And there she goes, hailing, howling Gale. Warwick actually going to dive at a very dangerous position. Deceive away by the Shaco. Warwick should have vision onto him, though. I don't know. I wasn't able to check. But hey, at least Blue Team was able to do something about that double kill earlier on. They only killed one though and the, all the rest is gone. They will have a turret out of this. I don't think... Well, Graves is quite strong, but he doesn't have his ultimate yet. Does matter. Let's go top. Some action has to happen here sometime. 
I guess not. Oh, Lee Sin just jumping into a harpoon there. Is going to get ignited. Safeguard, of course, blocked most of the damage. So, oh, that was a smart cast that went totally wrong, wasn't it, Rumble? I don't. I won't tell anyone, Rumble. I won't tell anyone. Lee Sin going for golems, probably. Yes, he is. He wants to farm, and he's totally right. Rumble now going to recall. Dragon still hasn't been taken yet. I feel awful. I thought they were going straight for Dragon. They had to time it down. It was an easy time to remember. Tonight is night to remember. Come on, 15 minutes. How could you... How could you not know? How could you not go? Well, they were defending it both pretty well. Both teams are not giving either team a chance to take it. They prefer to farm. Corky with a red buff. That is very dangerous. Graves, be careful. Be careful. Sorry guys, was interrupted here, but as I said before, Corky and the Gangplank should have been able to do at least a little bit of harass onto Grace. Now that Jenna is there, she will be able to shield the damage. I hope that was what, I'm what I was talking about. I, I, I haven't been here for five minutes. So anyway, now Gangplank of course is parlaying every little bit of damage onto Grace. Needs to be careful though. That's how you do it. Go for the Janna. Janna is a very squishy support and will most likely shield her AD carry because of course her shield gives attack damage like 50 I think if it's full level. Let's check it out. So yeah 50 attack damage. So she will most likely always go for the AD carry which makes it so that you can attack Janna instead. She is a very squishy support. Oh, Gangplank ultimate use there and here you see how squishy she really is. Gangplank getting the kill, that was funny. Koki shooting a Sheko, even though I think he thought it was Graves. So knowing that Graves was here, they know Sheko should be there. Sheko going to the middle, Morgana using her black shield to prevent Warwick from ganking her. Warwick getting shielded there. Sheko spotted by the watch, so Warwick should be able to escape. Sheko, of course, very fast with the boots of mobility. Warwick should actually run towards Evelyn instead because he will not be able to outrun him. Now Rumble is there, but hey, the same could be said from Lee Sin. Evelyn, way too far behind, will not be able to catch up. Warwick failing the flash. Of course, you can go through this entire wall. At the same time, Corky was able to kill the Graves, but I am going to... Well, I'm going to go back, check out how the Graves died. Well, he probably was turret dived if he was stupid enough to stay there. Let's go back 30 seconds into the game where Jenna just died and Warwick was being chased by Sheko and Morgana. So here we can see Koki just chilling, you know, killing, chilling, using his red buff to poke around onto the graves, doing almost half of its HP, gone. Gangplank of course going to ignite Koki Valkyrie in and then just finish the graves. Koki tanking a lot of damage, he might have actually died. And now we are back to where we once were. Where I think Rumble is going to get dived. Of course, diving a Rumble is fairly dangerous if he has the Equalizer, which he does. But together with a Morgana, a Lee Sin and a Sheko, I think they should be fine. There goes the Equalizer. Sheko taking a lot of damage, but is of course able to deceive away. Rumble not going to go towards Sheko because he was hit by the Sonic Wave. So at any time, Lee Sin could have just kicked him in the face. And face it, do you want to get kicked by this guy? He's, he's a kickboxer. They, they break faces with their knees. It's pretty scary. Koki going in, actually. Normally, you don't really see a DID carry ganking all that much. But if he's able to Valkyrie over this wall, which I don't know if he is, he might have be. Here he goes. Will Koki be able to Valkyrie like a boss? He's actually AFK. No, here he comes. He was going to bait Lee Sin, but he will be able to just safeguard to his minions in a short while. He still has Flash, so he's not even bothering all that much. Flash and uh, by uh, the Rumble. So that will be a kill by whom? It will be Koki. So great job, Koki. Doing a gank. So if the gank works out, then why not gank as an AD carry? Of course, if it fails, then you missed a lot of farm, mate. But hey, Gangplank can use the farm. How many gold per 5 does he has? Zero. So he really needs the farm. He has a, a Phantom Dancer, so he's not doing that bad, to be honest. He has a lot of crit, which is very important for a crit plank. Oh no, Jenna Spotted is going to get tagged by Warwick. Will not be able to escape. Is going to flash to where? To the tower of the enemy? One more parlay should be able to get the job. Ultimate used by Gangplank. Not too sure, but a nice missile there by Koki. Finishing the job. Will that be a jack-in-the-box? Come on, Sheko, do it. Not worth it. Well, why not? It's only wasting mana. There he is. There he is. It's gone. 
is gone. So finally, ten minutes ago I said they were going to do dragon and now they are doing dragon. So, will blue team have a dragon? Will they be on equal standing one to one? On the enemy's dragon, Shaco, of course, one of the best dragon stealers in the game. He can deceive, but he is not able to get closer. We'll use his minion to try and do some AP damage, but he is, of course, an AD Shaco. It won't do that much. Evelyn now running away. Why are we gonna get caught by Lee Sin? Will he be able to do a nice dragon rage? No, he will not. He get knocked out, but Evelyn going to take a lot of damage. Equalizer used there by Rumble, but everyone is already dead. Amazing ultimate by Morgana. Corky not able to kill Morgana. Oh my... How much did she have left? I think only 30 HP. So Morgana surviving, Corky missing his missile, else it would have been a kill, a pity indeed, but that was an amazing combination by Red Team. D Lee Sin did an amazing Dragon Rage, knocking pretty much everyone up. And then Morgana just had to use her ultimate to stun them all at once, and then it was goodbye, collateral damage, Grace will do the rest, thank you. Of course, I don't think Graves took a lot of the kills, it was mostly Morgana. But it was awesome. And it was quick, it was so quick I couldn't even cast it. Of course, if Gangplank would have gotten his ultimate, it might have been a little bit different, even though they were all caught. They were all caught. There wasn't anything really they could do. That least is slow. It is an AoE slow, so it must be dangerous. They were not able to escape Morgana's ultimate, and they were all stunned. It happens. What you gonna do about it? So, I thought blue team was going to pull ahead onto red team, or at least catch up to them, catch up to them, but now, well, they're not still far away, it's still like the beginning of the game, 3k gold, but they were better. They were in a better position now, again, they need to be very careful once more, if red team is able to snowball out of this, it will be very dangerous for blue team. We shall see how blue team manages. In the end, Evelyn will be able to kill anyone she pleases. She is a very good assassin, char uh, hash -hash assassin character, so she should be able to do fine. Warwick spotted by a ward. Lee Sin should be able to uh, just recall away. I was waiting for the rumble to use his harpoon, but, well, he was silent, so he couldn't do anything. And they're all going to gank a Lee Sin that's not there. They might actually go for Shaco, but he's going to recall as well. So he's not there. Graves has taken red. Well, Shaco helped him, of course. Pings again, going down onto Warwick. They think he's alone, but there's an Evelyn standing right next to him. So, I think Graves is in a heap of trouble, even though, of course, Warwick was spotted. So, he is afraid of the Warwick ultimate. And Warwick has flash, so he can just flash from here, and then infinite duress to here, and then Graves would have been dead. Oh, losing control of my mouse. No, oh, dynamic camera, you're taking control. I need some water. So yeah, blue team now pushing, taking the, well, let's see the stand against red team. Normally you'd say red team is ahead, so they are going to push, but for now it is blue team taking the initiative. Shaco jibbing everywhere, it's, it's quite fun, but of course the timer of jibs have been nerfed, so they don't stand as long as they used to, so it's not really as good as, a, let's say, a Teemo Shroom or a Nidalee Trap. But it works. At least it's something. Gangplank playing like a gangplank, not going anywhere, just going to farm the entirety of the game, which in the end will be very good. Shaco now catching the Evelyn once more. No, it was Warwick. So Warwick dying, of course, how can you catch an Evelyn? You can't even see her. So Warwick again walked through a ward, was immediately dived by the entirety of the team. He's not that tanky yet. He will be. In the end, he will be so strong that we will not be able to kill him, but for now, not going to work. Pings are going down onto Baron. Red team is not really going for it yet. Shaco has recalled, so he has bought himself, I think, a wit scent. I'm not too sure. Pings are now going down onto the turret, so they think, hey, if they're doing Baron, we're doing the turret. Of course, they weren't doing Baron, so they are going to catch them from behind. Well, they aren't doing Baron, so they realized immediately that they weren't doing Baron, so they thought, hey, well, let's push a tower, then they can't push a tower. It will be a tower for a tower, and they will not be able to use their advantage of 4v5 like they should be. Now Warwick is back. Warwick almost has enough for the Torn Mill. If he goes for the Torn Mill, it might be a Guardian Angel as well. But against this team, why not go Torn Mill? It's good against Shaco, it's good against Graves, and it's good against Lee Sin. Of course, you still have Morgana. 
She's a force to be reckoned with, and Warwick doesn't have that much ability power. Keep that in mind. So Morgana will be able to do a lot of damage to him. You you saw that earlier when he got caught by the binding. That was like what one fifth of his HP by a single dark binding. That's a lot if you're a tank. Of course, the dark soul does a lot of damage as well. And if you're binded, then you cannot dodge away from it. Ah, <sighs> you missed that, mate. Well, Warwick, I was thinking, maybe Warwick will jump Graves, he can do it. There's Nevelyn as well, they could snipe him down rather quickly, but because of course Lee Sin is there, and well, Jenna is there, but they didn't know that, he's just able to kick Warwick away if he just does his infinite duress, or if Jenna is there, of course she's Howling Gale, or her ultimate monsoon, not that she needs it if she has Howling Gale off cooldown. You just need to interrupt, that's the most important thing. Ah, finally, Oracles by Gangplank. He will be able to check the ward on Baron and destroy it. He needs to be careful for Shaco though. Shaco throwing his shiv onto him, but he will be fine. Another zeal? I no, I think Gangplank is going for uh, the infinite. Uh, the infinity. Yes. Sorry, my nose was itching. He is going for the Trinity Force, which is a good item. I've seen, a, well, the, we used to play Gangplank like this, two Phantom Dancers and then just crit all night long with, together with the Infinity's Edge. But for now, I think he's going for the Trinity Forge, which also gives you Critical Strike and it increases the damage on your Q. Because, of course, every time you use an ability, you'll get a 150% increase on your attack damage on the next hit, which procs on Parlay. So that's pretty awesome. So now finally red team taking the initiative, they should, They're, they are 4k gold ahead, which isn't that much considering the time of the game, we are 31 minutes into the game. But still, if you're ahead, try to keep the pressure on, try to stay ahead, try to make it so that you snowball even further, take objectives, like dragon, here they go, let's see what they'll do, Lee Sin is going to kick the living crap out of that dragon, so it will not survive at all. Shaco again went back to base. Not too sure why he keeps doing that. Like, maybe he just bought an oracles. It might work. Things are now going down onto Baron. They don't have vision on it. So it was actually a pretty ballsy move. They didn't even have vision in the entirety of the Baron jungle. On, well of course, blue team's part of the jungle. So that was pretty reckless. If blue team decided to do Baron, well, probably they were... They saw them doing the minions, I hope. Because else, if blue team knew, they could have done something. But then again, how can you know that they are wards if you don't check them too often? Shaco again, placing a jib down so they get some more vision. Oh, and the many wards that Jenna have here. She is going for a lot of gold to five and apparently going for a Zeke's Herald next, which is a very good item if you have a Shaco and a Graves. And Leeson benefits from it as well. So why not? More jibs. More jibs. It's actually pretty fun that that jib is just out of range of Baron. So it's a very good jib, because if blue team would go in, they would get feared, and it would be funny. Nothing more though. Might do a little bit of damage, but I think the AoE of Corky and Evelyn would be able to just destroy it. Well, hate spikes is of course not true AoE, but I think it might hit it if you stand too close to it by accident. Boom! Oh no! Gangplank doesn't want to give vision to his team. So he acts like he's going to run towards his team, instead he's not. So they don't really know where the rest of his team is, except for maybe Warwick. Warwick might have been in vision, almost getting hit by the Dark Binding there. That minion sacrificing his life for him. But then again, he's Gangplank, he will just eat oranges. BK. BK. Donkey Kong? No, that's DK. Donkey Kong ain't here? Oh, this could have been something. Those were two fairly squishy targets in that tri bush, but Shaco, of course, able to deceive away. And Smoke Bomb used by Graves. Pings are now going down, they need to retreat because Corky isn't there, and Gangplank is for a long way not there yet. He should now use his. Yes, indeed. So he gets some health back, and it's off cooldown once he gets there. Now, Red Team pushing like a boss. Gangplank is almost dead, so. I don't know, I don't really see Warwick initiating onto this, however, if Red Team chooses to initiate, it might get dangerous. 
Warwick then if the cooldowns are done might go in onto a target with infinite duress but I think Janna will just save the Howling Gale purely for Warwick. Graves doing a lot of damage onto the turret now Shaco going in with a minion going to bait them it won't work they realize it immediately that he's not real. Blue buff will get stolen by Graves or will it be someone else? Nope it will be Graves and a nice binding there will that be a kill? Well, now they realize he was caught, how low Rumble is. Rumble should actually quickly recall and go back or else, well, go for it. Regen as much as he can with his spell vamp. He has a lot of health pots left. Well, he still had a health pot left, which is fairly uncommon at this part of the game. Because at 35 minutes, that won't do... It won't regen you any HP, to be honest. Like, oh my god, Morgana in a fairly dangerous position. She does have the hourglass, so if she gets caught, she will be able to stall out until her team arrives for just a few seconds. And Lee Sin is fairly quick if he's able to hit his Sonic Wave. And Shaco is fairly quick. And that's the binding onto Warwick once more. He will immediately get killed. We'll use Infinite Duress onto Graves, but it didn't work. Now we have Lee Sin running away. The Ignite not killing him. Shaco now running away. Ignite going down onto Rumble. He is able to scrap shield away. Janna actually saving him there. And now it's Morgana dying. Evelyn with the double kill. We'll go in and now Corky now going to shoot down the Lee Sin and probably kill Jenna as well. Just look at that damage. Valkyrie is of course off cooldown, especially when you have a blue buff. And that's a triple kill for Corky and a double kill for Evelyn. What a turnaround to be honest. Are they going for Baron or are they just going to push turrets? I don't know. Evelyn is fairly low. Can she regen? I don't think she can. The spell vamp was of course Rumble's ability. He has the Will of Angels, so if he's able to get close to his team, Evelyn might be able to heal herself a little bit with hate spikes. This is going to be very hard to do. Evelyn fairly low. She is probably going to die if she gets hit by one more spit. Oh, it barely misses though. And there we have Rumble tanking it for the team. So it will be a Baron buff for everyone. For Warwick has just respawned. He is going for the... Sorry, I needed to swallow there. He is going for the Frozen Heart, which is a very good item to have, just as much as Jenna went for Zeke's Herald. So it's going to counter each other out. Of course, Frozen Heart a little bit better because it halves your attack speed. Zeke's Herald only increases it by 20%. But hey, at least it counters it a little bit. He doesn't have it yet though, so now Zeke's Herald will of course be a fairly good item. But that was a real surprise actually for Red Team. They were killed immediately and I really thought they had the perfect initiate. Warwick was almost dead. Of course Warwick isn't really the target you want. So maybe they focused a little bit too much on Warwick and ignored a little bit too much of Corky. He was able to just shoot everyone in that fight. He barely lost any HP to be honest. And then Evelyn was focused but of course Evelyn is quite tanky if she uses her Agony's Embrace quite well because she gets a shield for every target that was hit by the ultimate so it could be a big shield and this is not going to be a dragon Evelyn it might respawn in just a few seconds but for now just try to take other object objectives Red Team actually going to push might be dangerous if they are fined off guard then they are going to lose a turret for this dragon now of course respawned this will be a very quick dragon and now Red Team going to go I don't know Shaco is a very good counter lane pushes so he might just be able to keep on pushing and if they ignore him he will be able to destroy an inhibited tower but at the main at the same time i think blue team will also be able to destroy an inhibited tower which could be considered a good trait considering that blue team has baron and red team doesn't we shall see who will be the quickest of course if red team plays this a little bit bad they will lose a lot of players because of this it's 4v5 in this situation Shaco is going to get attacked uh, by the Gangplank ultimate so he will not be able to push as much as he would like but he is still going. Of course blue team a little bit faster than Shaco. Ultimate of Gangplank is off cooldown though. Koki should be able to just lifesteal himself back to health there if his team would let him. Shaco now already going to the second tower for him. It will be the inhibitor tower. So will he be able to destroy it? Uh, someone needs to recall and I think it's going to be Gangplank. But he needs to run away because they are chasing him for death. Of course chasing down an Avalon or a Rumble is quite hard. Corky has already recalled so Shaco ran away. They were able to prevent this tower from getting destroyed. But it's already on half its HP. 
whilst this tower is still on full HP. So considering the facts, Red Team actually pulled ahead because of this. Shaco now got caught by the chain gun there. Will he be able to recall? No, he is spotted by Warwick's attack there, so he will not be able to escape. A kill on Shaco, and now this could be a turnaround for Blue Team. Now they should push the lanes. Counter pusher Shaco has been destroyed, so they need to go for it right now. Hunter, Blood Scent. Yeah, that was the ability Shaco was, saw, was seen with. I thought it was Hunter's Call, but that's of course the attack speed boost that Warwick can give his team, which is a very good ability. You will see it at the tower. He is going to say, Row! and then everyone, as you can see, is going to attack like crazy. So that's the tower destroyed. Now this is good for blue team. They are pulling ahead on red team. They're actually on equal footings right about now. So it's real fun, but they have a deep baron. So if you're equal, a team with baron is stronger. They are going for another outer tower. Well, it's the inner tower, actually. The outers have already been destroyed. The inner mid tower will get destroyed pretty soon. Gangplank prefers the ward, which we all cheer for. Hey, it's a ward to get destroyed. Yeah. Not really, though. This isn't the playoffs. This is regular wa lol. And we are going to see the French win. I don't know if they're French. I don't even know if they're even European. I didn't check. Well, I did, but I forgot. So, yeah. Blue team was able to push down quite some towers. They haven't destroyed any inhibited towers yet. And I think the Baron buff, yes indeed, is gone. So now both teams should be on quite equal footing. It's only 600 gold difference between the two teams. So it shouldn't be a really big issue. It's all about the team fights right about now. Morgana, a very good at team fights. Jenna, a very good at team fights. Shaco, eh? If he gets caught, he dies fairly quickly. He didn't build as tanky as I would want a Shaco to see at this time of the game. Of course, early on, if you're ahead, build attack damage. But right about now, I think I feel like Shaco should go for a little bit of more tanky items. He might go for Frozen Mallet instead of Trinity Force, which, in my honest opinion will be the better case he already has the wit's hand which will give him a little bit of magic resistance as well but he needs to build hp i think he bought some wards and that's all five wards even that's a lot considering you are a shako normally you see shakos get conceited saying huh, i can place drips i don't need to buy wards not on this elo everyone buys wards and with everyone i mean two people the junglers and the sports. Blue team needs to be careful. Corky has the Guardian Angel, so he can die. Warwick went for the Frozen Heart instead of the Guardian Angel or the Torn Mail, so I was wrong for that. I'm sorry, but I already saw he went for the Glacial Shroud, so it's fine. Warwick going to initiate, which is good. Warwick can initiate. He might be able to jump. He got jumped again, but then again, Warwick isn't a target. He did die immediately, though. Now, guess who's in the wrong position? It is everyone on blue team. Evelyn is not there. Damage is being dealt, though, but that's not the right targets. They're wrong. This is a real Shaco, so this will be an obliteration for red team. Getting the ace whilst not dying on their self. Corky has been popped, will die as well. Big shields on Shaco. Uh, both his wit sand and the black shield and the Janna shield were cast on him at the same time. He might have died if they didn't do it. Corky has a lot of burst, but it didn't work. So an ace, whilst no one died on blue te on red team, even though they were all fairly low, I did say they didn't focus the right players. They all went from for a different one, and I I know they have a lot of AOE. Well, red team does, but so does uh, blue team does, but so does red team. So they are going to try and finish this. Warwick will be there. His ultimate is still off cooldown. But he's too squishy for magic damage. So he's not able to do as much tanking as it is required. That Morgana binding does too much damage onto him. And Morgana already has a Void Staff. Already has... Well, of course she has Sorcerer's Shoes. But consider that. Warwick only has 101 magic resistance. And there they go, they're going for Baron, they are fairly low, so they need to be careful. Vayne is fairly quick, uh, quick, sorry, quack, <laughs> I'm not a duck, but they will be able to take it. Warwick is not able to get close enough, so it will be a kill onto Baron. Now Baron team has Baron, 
they won't need to recall that someone might get caught Evelyn going in equalizer being used there by rumble hitting two Shaco of course will be able to escape he got hit by the dark binding so he will die and that is another kill. Warwick now going in onto Morgana. Will it get interrupted? No, it won't. Now Corky getting hit by a dark binding. Very dangerous position for Corky. He will die as well. Shaco now dying. And I think Lee Sin will not survive as well. But Graves is still alive. And an AD carry. Well, you know what that is. It will be a killer. Warwick still alive. Is going to run away. Gangplank fairly quick. Champion as well. But he got hit by the binding. Another shot by Graves won't be enough. And that's the collateral damage. Getting the kill onto Gangplank. Great play. And that will probably be a GG. Baron and only one player surviving. While Evelyn is fairly low. Warwick is fairly low as well. So it's a 3 on 2. But both AP carries are alive. But there's an AD carry still standing. And that this part of the game. 45 minutes into the game. An AD carry mostly will prevail to a jungler. Even though it is Warwick, Warwick isn't tanky enough. He has proven it before and he will prove it again. Unless he'll get enough money. That's another reason why I prefer top lane Warwicks is that they can get the gold at an increasingly fast pace. And they will be tankier than anything you have seen before. One more inner, inhibitor, uh, inner turret stance, one more inhibitor stance. The bottom lane is the only lane red team will need to push in order to win this game. But the scores are still very, very close. So we shall see who will win. It's all about the perfect initiate. Now blue team failed to initiate perfectly twice. Everyone gets caught by the amazing bindings of Morgana. But if they're able to dodge them and then not too many people get hit by Soul Shackle, then I really, really think that blue team still has a chance. Especially because of Gangplank. He has the Guardian Angel. He doesn't have Trinity Force yet, but he is going for it. Gangplank was actually able to do half the damage to Graves when Graves attacked him. So he's also getting into that carry status. Crit Plank is very good in the end of the game. Of course, because he was support, he wasn't able to farm at all. So, oh no, Evelyn gets caught there by Shaco. His minion is going to die, doing a little bit of bursty damage onto the enemies, but again... He is not AP Shaco, it would be silly. So great move there by Shaco for going for the Guardian Angel. That's what I said with building a little bit more tanky. He didn't build the Phage into a Frozen Mallet just yet, but the Phage is more important and it's, it's good enough. They will get slowed eventually. Gangplank ult being used there on the right time. Lee Sin trying to tank there. He is able to tank because he also has a Guardian Angel, so he will not die. Turret gets destroyed. Equalizer used there by... Oh, Morgana dying there. So, great Equalizer. Graves still standing. Is going to do a lot of damage. Is he going to kill everyone? Shaco now dying. Graves doing whatever he can. Someone please stop this Graves. Thank you. Graves gets healed by Morgana. Is able to quick draw away. Evelyn being fairly cocky there. Will die using her hourglass as well. But you will not escape Graves. Graves now. Actually, it's Morgana getting the kill. It's a great play there, Morgana. And all the minions in the world are destroying all the turrets in the world. So, blue team doesn't have a single tower left. Except for this one. Thank you. So yeah, focus the carries. If you focus the carry, you will win the game most of the time. Graves now going to get caught by Gangplank with the Phage proc. Will he get the kill onto Corky? He will barely, but Janna will make it so that it happened. So Corky died. A lot of minions attacking this Nexus over here. Will Warwick. Uh, Warwick gets knocked up. No, don't focus her. Don't focus her. Then the minions will most certainly destroy the Nexus. Do they have faith in their own minions to defend the inhibitor, uh, the Nexus? I don't know. It's very close. But they are able to stop them. Gangplank, of course, crits on pretty much every hit. So he will be able to farm like a boss. He wanted to farm for an entire time. And now we have an AoE here. Now we have Rumble. He will be able to just flamethrower all the super minions. It was needed. Equalizer being used, but it wasn't enough. Shaco was there as well, so he would have just attacked uh, the Nexus with all his might. My, my, my. Oh, my, my, my. They were almost able to. Well, if they ignored Janna, then she would have just been the disruptive player that she was. And then the Nexus would have fallen anyway. It wasn't anything she could do. Well, they could do against her or the ulti minions. So, guys, this was an amazing play. It was very close game. But in the end, a red team prevailed by sheer awesomeness. And probably coordination. One of those two. You decide. Anyway, I'll see you later. And I hope to see you next time. Whatever it is I'll do. Whenever it is I'll do it. Bye.
Hope you enjoyed.